You might be familiar with the brand Hohem for their camera stabilizers. They make my favorite all-in-one gimbal and action camera gimbal. But now, Hohem is getting into the wireless microphone scene with the brand new Hohem Mic 01. It's an ultra compact and lightweight wireless microphone system that comes with a charging case that doubles as a carrying case. Now this microphone system works with phones and cameras, but it's really optimized for using with phones. I'll explain why in just a minute, as well as tell you all of the need to know features, including my absolute favorite feature that I have never seen on another wireless microphone system before. And of course, I'll also include unedited audio samples filmed with this microphone system so you can hear exactly what the microphones sound like. First, the basics. There are multiple versions of the Hohem Mic 01 microphone system, one for lightning connections and another for USB-C. So it works with both iPhones and Androids. The Android version is 109 US dollars, while the iPhone version is 119 US dollars. The Apple version costs a little bit more because it's M5 certified, but if you have an iPhone 15 or later, you can actually use the Android USB-C version. All units come with a single receiver, but you can get a version with one transmitter or another version that comes with two transmitters. Finally, the microphone systems come in either all black or all white. Now this microphone system only records in mono or single track audio. There is no stereo or two track audio available. If you're using the microphones with a smartphone, then it's super simple to get started. You just plug the receiver into the phone and you start shooting. But if you want to connect to another camera, it's a bit more complicated because the receiver doesn't have a built-in battery. It has to be plugged into a power source and then connected to the camera via the 3.5 millimeter microphone jack. The external power source can be a bit cumbersome, but if you're using something like a gimbal that allows for external charging, then that really is the best case scenario. Anyway, this is why I say that this microphone system is optimized for using with phones. Now looking closely at the transmitters and the receivers, you'll notice that they're very lightweight and small. They're about the length of my pinky finger. The transmitter weighs 14.9 grams, the receiver weighs 5 grams, and the charging case is 76 grams. Battery life is about 20 hours, and it takes 1.5 hours to fully charge the system from zero. The transmitters also have built-in microphones with omnidirectional pickup patterns, and they also include furry windscreens. You can clip the transmitter to your shirt or use the magnetic backing for a more subtle placement. Or you can stick the transmitters on a magnetic surface. The transmitters each have a 3.5 millimeter microphone jack if you want to use a wired lavalier microphone, but just note that the wired mic is not included and it has to be purchased separately. The microphone system has a transmission range of about 328 feet or 100 meters. Now let's talk about microphone system features. Now this microphone system is pretty basic. There's no display screen on any of the units, so you have to know a few basic commands to control the features. The receiver has a headphone port so you can plug in a pair of headphones to monitor the audio in real time. It also has two buttons to change the gain levels on the transmitters. Double press the minus button to activate channel one gain mode. The light will turn red and now you can press the plus button to add gain or the minus button to reduce gain. There are five levels of gain control and by default the units are set to the medium level three gain. But after you set the gain manually, the microphones will automatically use the last used gain level. Now the only way to know which level you're on is by having headphones connected to the receiver so you can hear the beeps. This is what it sounds like recording audio directly onto my iPhone 15 Pro using the built-in internal microphones. No wireless mics attached. This is a microphone test with the Hohem Mic 1. We're at gain level 1. So the lowest level of gain. This is what it sounds like. This is the Hohem Mic 1, this time at gain level 2. This is what it sounds like. And now this is gain level 3. This is the default gain that all the transmitters are set to straight out of the box. And this is what it sounds like. Now we're at gain level 4, so we're climbing up to the top. We've got one more gain level left. And finally, this is gain level 5, so the maximum amount of gain that you can add to the transmitter. This is what it sounds like. 
Now these transmitters also have a couple of different levels of noise cancellation. Just single press the mode button on the transmitter to switch between noise cancellation modes. A green indicator light is standard noise cancellation, the yellow light is a strong noise cancellation, and the blue light means that noise cancellation is turned off. This is what it sounds like with shooting at gain level 3 with noise cancellation off. I'll go ahead and add some noise cancellation to hear what that sounds like. So now I added some low level noise cancellation. The light is green on the unit, so this is what it sounds like. I'll go ahead and add some maximum noise cancellation now to hear the difference. All right, now the mic unit has maximum noise cancellation. I actually thought it did a pretty good job. You know, noise cancellation is something you can add in post-production. But if you're in a really, really noisy area and you know for a fact that you need the noise cancellation, then it's a nice feature to have just in case. You can also turn on reverb mode by double pressing the mode button on the transmitter. The indicator light will flash a purple, yellow, green, and blue when the reverb mode is on. This is a sound test with reverb mode on. This is what it sounds like. Really curious to hear if there's any difference. But yes, this is the sound test. Honestly, I found reverb mode to be a bit strange. Besides using it for creative effects, I'm not really sure when you would want to have reverb in your audio. But correct me if I'm wrong. Now the last audio effect you can do with the transmitters is mute them by double pressing the transmitter power button. The indicator light will turn a solid white when muted. Double press the power button again to turn mute off. Now besides enabling audio effects, the transmitters can also be used to control the shutter on your phone's camera. When connected, just single press the transmitter button to take a photo or start and stop recording a video. Finally, we get to my favorite feature of this mic system. It can serve as a standalone voice recorder and back up your audio. Now that's something that we do see in other wireless microphone systems, but on the Hohem, it's a standout feature because each transmitter has a built-in micro SD card slot. I have not seen this on any other wireless microphone system. Now usually they do have built-in memory for internal recording, so you can use the transmitters as a standalone recorder and backup audio, but they don't let you have the option to add your own storage. Now in the case of the Hohem, it does not have any built-in storage, so you have to insert a memory card if you want to use the standalone voice recording or audio backup feature. But I love the fact that I can control the storage space and easily take the card out to offload my audio. So that was an introduction to the brand new Hohem Mic Zero One wireless microphone system. It is a budget wireless mic system, so the sound quality and the features are not on the same level as the bigger and more expensive Rode and DJI wireless mic systems. You don't get the display screen on the mic receivers, there's no stereo audio mode, and there are no pro level features like 32-bit float and timecode. It's also a bit more complicated to use this microphone system with a non-smartphone camera. But considering the fact that it's just over $100, this could be a pretty decent starter microphone kit for an aspiring content creator who's on a budget. But you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. I've got lots more wireless microphone system reviews and comparisons on the way.